Welcome back to SGK Talks. Today I'm going to be talking about the zero risk bias. Now the zero risk bias, this is a tendency to prefer the complete elimination of a risk even when alternative options produce a greater reduction in risk overall. Now one of the stories I'm going to talk about, so people were given these two towns. They're very um, hazardous material and the cancer rates are really high. And they're given two options. You can A, have one town with a zero you know, cancer rate. People don't get cancer, you eliminate it completely. And option B is you reduce cancer overall a lot lower, but both towns still have cancer. 42% uh, of people who took this picked the option with the less reduction in cancer rates. They picked the option A, reducing the cancer in one town to zero. This just shows um, zero risk bias. People like when things are some sim down to nothing. Uh, also, you can look at the 2008-2007 um, stock market and with the housing market crash and everything like that, you saw a lot of people jumping to government and bonds and buying those up. And you saw a lot of good stocks in big companies for dirt cheap and nobody was investing in. They liked the idea of government bonds because the risk was so much lower compared to stocks. So, and politicians do this as well. You know, politician might say, hey, look at me, I reduced, you know, poverty rate or whatever in this town by this and it's almost at zero or something like that but overall in the state or whatever is a lot bigger it could have been a lower reduction overall even though there'd be zeros nowhere so that's an interesting one always watch out for zero risk bias and things of that nature and what will fall into that uh, category um, but yeah thank you very much